I've heard this before. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to K-pop. So, three disclaimers. One, I've been to Korea, so I've kind of seen K-pop before, but I've never listened to any of the YouTube videos or any actual songs. I've probably heard of it, but I've never intentionally searched it up, so this is completely a fresh reaction. Number two, I'm gonna be searching up the top uh, viewed videos on YouTube, and that's how I'm gonna rank these reactions. I'm basically gonna unreact to the top rated uh, viewed videos on YouTube. And number three, this is actually part of a two part series that I wanna do. I want to react to it myself and then re have strangers react to it. So if you guys wanna watch Strangers React to K-pop in New York City Streets 2020, make sure you guys subscribe and drop a comment letting me know so that I work on that as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and start the first video which is BTS Dynamite official music video. Here we go. I like the colors on their clothes. Oh wow, he's speaking English. Um, all right, so we're two minutes into the first video. I got some first little reactions that I want to talk about. So um, I think it's very interesting, uh, all the colors and stuff. I think the fashion is also very interesting. Um, like I said, I spent some time in Korea. I think I was there for about like a week or two. Um, I did see some, there's actually a street in Seoul where you go to and there's just like a ton of street performers, kind of like here in New York City. And they all are dancing to K-pop. Um, but one thing that I noticed is that like the Korean um, uh, guy is either just a normal looking guy or a K-pop looking guy. And K-pop looking guys, are very, like you can see how they look. Um, it's very different. I think they're very ahead of their time. Um, you know, uh, I don't know whether or not, um, you know, because I feel like this is a culture thing now because you're seeing a lot of people creating their own bands, a lot of the street performers kind of mimicking this style. I was also very surprised to have them be uh, speaking English, so that's really cool. And like I said, I know BTS has been around for a long time, but I've never listened to any other music. Um, I think I've seen a BTS conspiracy video. That was really interesting. But um, yeah, I mean, the song is catchy. I could see myself dancing to this at a club or something. Um, I'm also very interested by like what they put in the music video. Like the culture of it is very like, Again, it feels like I'm watching a music video from the future. Because it's very like, um, or at least this video is very like, um, it's very modern, but it looks like they're doing like a throwback, if you know what I mean. It looks like they're from the future and they're making a video about our times, if that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and go to the next one, because I think that one's pretty, you know. Uh, so here's another group, which is cool because I see that we're l seeing different groups. Now we're l looking at Blackpink. I think it's a girl band. Okay, so this one's in Korean. Okay, 
I've heard this before. Very cool. Wow. That's so dope because it's like, I'm over here like acting like I've never really listened to K-pop, but it's cool how K-pop has snuck its way into our culture already. Um, this is a song that's gone pretty viral on TikTok. I've been listening to TikTok, so that's cool. I mean, it's really awesome to see how like, even though if you don't try to diversify yourself like into different cultures, you know, different cultures are gonna force their way into your life. So that's dope. I didn't know. Again, it's like very ahead of their time. They're like singing different languages. This girl doesn't sound like she's Korean. Um, so even the collab too. Wow, very interesting. The fashion too, it's like so ahead of its time. It's almost like a cyberpunk feel. That's so dope. Very dope. Again, like that's just so sick. They're they they do so many different things so well, and it's so mu there's so much going on, but they bring it together so well. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, Blackpink, K-pop, Korean. That's a playlist. Let's go ahead and look at another um, BTS video. One of the things that's very interesting about the BTS videos too is how well they perform. The first one we saw had 363 million views and it only comes out, came out three weeks ago. The Blackpink video two months ago, 522 million. The one we're about to see has 1 billion. It's called DNA, two years ago. Let's see. So interesting. I wish I could like interview them and ask them questions about like, you know, this, cause I don't really know much about this. I know what kind of camera they're using for this, but it's interesting that they were using it two years ago. Like I said, ahead, they're ahead of their time. It's very boy band-ish feel, but it's not as cringy as it is in when you see American guys do it. A lot of choreography too. Yeah, a lot of dancing. It's very interesting how much dancing they do. It's a lot of dancing, a lot of choreography, a lot of singing. I don't understand the singing, but the choreography is very worked on, you can tell. One month ago, mm. well, I'm gonna go ahead and do some research on what K-pop actually is, because I'm sure that there's just like, you know, this whole cultural wave that, that is explained in an article. So let's see, K-pop Wikipedia. 
K-pop short for Korean pop is a genre of popular music originating in South Korea. It is influenced by styles and genres around the world such as experimental rock, jazz, gospel, hip-hop, R&B, reggae, electric dance, folk, country, and classical on top of its traditional Korean music roots. The experimentation with different styles and genres of music, integrations of foreign musical elements helped reshape and modernize South Korea's contemporary music scene. Right, I want to see K-pop performance in Seoul. How do you spell Seoul? How do you spell Seoul? Because I want to see a uh, street performance. Oh, that's probably what I should search up street. Because I've seen these in person. There you go. Here's a, this is probably it. <coughs> Yeah, so this is actually where I went. You see like a lot of groups and a lot of... Oh wow, I'm seeing a lot of guys here too. Usually it's a lot of girls. Wow. They have a whole computer set up. That's so dope. Korea is so dope, bro. I literally remember walking down these streets. Their fashion is so like sweet too, it's so simple, so like. Yeah, this is it. And then you have guys just performing for fun? I wonder why they're doing this. Like, are they trying to get, like, in a group or something? And you have girls performing over here as well. Or maybe they're just having fun. I don't know. Anyways, I think the uh, K-pop culture and uh, effect, obviously I'm super late to it, but I think it's super interesting and it's something that I definitely want to understand a little bit more because K-pop is the future. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, if you guys want me to go up to strangers, because that's typically what I do on this channel, is go on uh, uh, to strangers and ask them to react to this uh, K-pop thing, then let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you want me to you know, get their reactions or what kind of songs you'd want them to uh, react to. And I'll make sure to do that. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like. And like I said, leave some comments on what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.